The research team at the Liggins Institute have been interested in caring for babies with low blood glucose for a long time. Low blood sugar levels are common in newborn babies and they, if they're bad enough, can actually cause brain damage. We know that some babies are at risk of having low blood sugars. In general, those are babies whose mothers have diabetes. They're babies who are born smaller or larger than expected, than usual or babies who have feeding problems, or babies who are born preterm. Generally, the only effective approach is admission to an intensive care unit, putting up a drip, separating the baby from its family. It's expensive, it's unhappy for the baby and the family. We were keen to try and find a better, simpler way of treating this common problem. We found that you can put sugar in a very high concentration gel and what we do is rub that inside the baby's cheek. We've got some yum-yums for you. That means it gets absorbed across the inside of the cheek, puts the blood sugar up very quickly. So what we needed to do was find out for sure whether the gel was effective in reversing the low blood sugars. We randomised those babies to either receiving the sugar gel or a placebo gel that didn't have any sugar in it. What we found in that study, which involved some 500 babies, was that the babies who received the sugar gel were about half as likely to need some other kind of treatment for their low blood sugar levels. They were also half as likely to need to go to intensive care for their low blood sugars and they were less likely to be formula fed after they went home. So what we found is that the sugar gel actually helped support breastfeeding, which is a major advance. We've had contact from people from over 20 countries asking for more information, and we know that this is now being used as a routine treatment in most nurseries in New Zealand and in many, many other parts of the world, and it's growing rapidly in its uptake around the world. We thought if it works well to treat babies with low blood sugar, could we use it to prevent babies getting low blood sugars? If we could do that, then we might reduce the number of blood tests they need, reduce the amount of angst, and potentially even prevent brain damage if that was going to be a problem. So the new study is called HPOD, Hypoglycemia Prevention with Oral Dextrose. So we're looking at preventing hypoglycemia, low blood sugar levels, by giving the gel to babies early before they get low sugars. And that means around one hour after birth, so really quite early. It's very satisfying to think that we've potentially saved a lot of families a lot of grief around the time of birth with a very common problem. This treatment, we think, will really revolutionise the way babies are managed around the world, and that's millions of families who will be better off as a result of this treatment.